We made it home, and now it's what, Tuesday the 13th? Yes, Tuesday the 13th. We leave for Alaska in one week. We're going oh, on a cruise. Yeah. So excited. Um, slept in a little bit today, kind of just let our bodies reset from travel, and now we're going to go get breakfast because we did fast for quite a while. I don't think we ate since we left Houston yesterday at the airport. So we're going to... 16, 17 hours. Yep, so we're going to go get breakfast slash lunch or brunch and then go to the gym. But first we're going to go do some shopping because I have found my new obsession with crop tops. <laughs> and I need some more. Well, you look amazing. So I, I need some more. should wear crop tops all the time. I need some more of these bad boys. So we're going to go shop, hit the gym, do some cardio, just get back on our gym slash work grind. I don't really like that word. The grind. And then Miss Jerry. Hi, princess. Jerry's got a boo-boo on her nose. I think Tom got her with his claw. The sweet girl. That meanie Tom. That meanie boy Tom. You hurt my Jerry. Oh, girl. All right, YouTube fam. So today I finished a glute workout. And the entire workout is actually in the description box below if you guys just wanted to look at that instead of watch me complete the entire workout. Totally fine. No feelings hurt there. So the first superset that I did is going to be four rounds. And you're going to start on the birthing machine or the hip abductor machine, whichever you like to call it. And try to get uh, 10 to 15 reps in. Uh, you'll see here in a second that I do touch the glutes. It will help with that mind-to-muscle connection when you are completing this exercise. Then we are going to go straight into overhead walking lunges. Now it's very imperative that you guys use a weight that you can manage because it is a little scary to have the weight over your head. I like to stop and tap my foot or completely stop and plant your foot in between each rep. That way you guys have more control. It's a little more balanced than just trying to power through the entire thing. I did eight down so four on each leg and then I did eight back total. So it's a total of about 16 reps. Just kind of depends on the length of your gym and how long you can do this exercise. So if you don't feel comfortable with the weight over your head, certainly don't do it. You can always put a barbell on your shoulders or you can do dumbbells down on your side. Now that will target more of your quads instead of your glutes. So just find what works for you and you feel safe perform because that's what it is all about. Just making sure that you guys are safe. So the next exercise that we will move into, unfortunately the Olympic racks were all taken today, so I had to make a bunch of noise in the middle of the gym. Anyways, I had to get my deadlifts done, and that's exactly what I did. I did up the weight a little bit, and because this is in the middle of my workout, usually I start with deadlifts in the beginning. So I did, and of course the phone falls, um, because that just is great during a workout. I upped the weight, but I also lowered the reps. So I did aim for six to eight reps, on my deadlifts and then I took about a two to three minute rest in between each set and I completed three sets of these heavier deadlifts. And then my final superset, unfortunately the camera will die at the end of this lovely clip, however, did get to film most of it. So I finished with cable kickbacks and I like using the bench because it takes the pressure off of my stationary or non-moving foot. You guys can certainly do it standing, um, just whatever works for you. But if you've never tried it with a bench, make sure that you do try it. So we will complete four rounds of this entire superset. For timing purposes, I knew the camera was about to die, so I only did film a few on each leg of the cable kickbacks. You're going to want to aim for 10 to 12 on each leg, and then you're going to move right into assisted pistol squats. The bench really helps. I'm not the best at pistol squats, so the bench really helps, and you're going to want to do these to failure on each leg. So again, the camera was going to die, so I was aware of that. Just wanted to make sure I got each each exercise in for you guys for visual learners. So have a good workout. Okay friends, so my camera died unfortunately during my workout. I was able to film the rest of my glue workout, however we did, we did then go to CrossFit for our cardio today and I will put the wad, I think that's what it's called, I'm not a CrossFitter, I'll put that in the um, caption below, but the warm up was like 100 meter run, bear crawls, and no hand push ups, or hand release push ups. Um, hey, with the bag, stop it. Tom and Jerry like to lick bags. Um, and then the workout itself was, well then we did 10 minutes every minute on the minute um, of handstand holds and rows, and then the actual workout was wall balls, 
burpees, um, toes to bar, snatches, kettlebell swings, and I think that was it. So that's gonna be below. Obviously I didn't film that as my camera did die. Then we went to the grocery store. And I'm gonna give you guys like a little like mini grocery haul, things that we um, get pretty regularly. We're not really like big. I mean, I love cooking and I'll maybe make like one new recipe a week. Jerry, that's enough with the bags. That's enough. You don't need to lick bags. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So. Pretty much our staples. Um, what's nice for us is that we do bow hunt and so our grocery bill is a lot less because we don't have to buy meat, which is really nice. So I actually have three things of ground turkey thawing right now and obviously we don't have to buy it at the store because we get it ourselves. We do buy tuna at the store, which you will see. It's just we don't have yellowfin tuna here in Ohio. So we do buy that from the store and that's the only meat that we do buy at the grocery store. So if you don't hunt or if you don't have access to that kind of stuff, obviously you will need to buy some meat at the store unless you're a vegan or a vegetarian, um, whatever your dietary preference is. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys what we, Jerry. That's enough. That's enough bag licking. You don't need to lick bags. So here is kind of a typical, I don't know, every four or five days for us. Um, a lot of these things are for specific recipes that I'm going, well, two things are for specific recipes that I'm gonna be making. So I'll give you guys kind of like a quick rundown. Um, rice cakes are heaven. I really like to have little snacky foods, obviously measure everything out. Um, two new kinds of cereal that we're pretty excited to try. See, Josh got the exact same flavor that I got. Almond milk. Josh really likes spray butter. Some pickles. This is for a recipe. Some eggs. Avocado. Watermelon. The tuna that I was telling you guys about. Cauliflower rice, which is heaven send. Um, pico. Dairy free cheese. Some eggs. Shredded lettuce. Onions. And almond meal flour. So this is kind of the typical grocery haul for us. Like I said, I did have, do have some turkey thawing. I need that for tonight. I have two other ones out here that I need to get thawing. Set those in the sink. So yeah, pretty, pretty basic. The guy even at the grocery store was like, you competing for something? Like, no, just life. He's like, I like that. I'm like, thanks. I like it too. So um, this week uh, for recipes, I will be making, tomorrow I'm going to do low carb, low carb sausage and no. So this week's recipes, I'm gonna be doing low carb biscuits and gravy, sausage, sausage gravy with our wild turkey. So that should be really yummy. And then I'm gonna be making quiche as well on the trigger at some point this week, um, just to kind of, you know, use up our wild turkey in a few little fun recipes. So I will film both of those for you guys. And right now I am going to make some tuna with avocado and those sweet pickles and then have some of those, um, little crackers that I showed you. And it's one of my favorite meals, so I have it a lot, especially on my low days, just because it's very filling. So that's one of my favorite meals. And then I'm gonna put all these groceries away because that was really annoying actually to get them out. Now I'm gonna put them away, <laughs> that's all right. So I do hope that that helped you guys, just kind of give you a little idea into meals, things that we buy regularly. That's, this is all like staples for us. So um, yeah. Hope that helped. I'll show you guys the recipes, like I said, and I'll show you guys the tuna thing because it's pretty popular, but I'll show you guys that right now as soon as I get all these put away. And little munchkin. What, munchkin? Side note, one thing I did want to mention about the spray butter that I'm sure a lot of you guys saw, it says, it says zero calories on the back, but in fact, <laughs> there is 700 calories, 700 in this whole thing, so, According to the FDA, you don't have to list calories if they're under, I think, five calories per serving. And obviously there isn't five calories in one spray, but that's what this is calling for. So you really just want to, because there's 1,130 servings in this one, there's 1,130 sprays in here. So just be conscious of the fact that there are 700 calories in this. Obviously divided by 1,130 servings. It's not a lot if you're only spraying one to two. However, don't go freaking crazy and spray like 900 times just because there's zero calories, because that's not true. So FDA, you kind of suck. You lying to people. 
but just wanted to point that out. I also wanted to point out that just because something says low carb or low fat does not mean that it is low calories. You still need to be tracking all your foods, whether it's a healthy food or not healthy food. You need to be tracking and counting everything that goes in your mouth. You gotta get on the ground, come on. Tom, would you like some? Hey, 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 hey. Jerry, come on, get on the ground. Tom, here you go. Jerry, sit pretty. Hey, sit pretty. Go, 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 there you go. Okay, dust kitties, they're so happy. Okay. Here we go. Obviously in a perfect world, that would be a little more mashed, but I am too hungry to wait a day for the avocado to get ripe. I'll do a serving of those. Mm -mm -mm.